Hey guys, it's Coach Jess here with your Tuesday 10 a.m. workout movement standards and scaling options. Our first movement of the day is a thruster. Again, if you have the barbell, let's go barbell thrusters tomorrow. If not, we're using those dumbbells. Back part of the dumbbell sits on those shoulders. Make sure the elbows drive nice and high to support your weight. As you go into the squat, drive up, lock out the elbows, biceps close to the ear. Your next movement is a hand release push-up. So coming into that plank position, make sure wrists are underneath your shoulders, coming all the way down to the ground. Hands come off the ground, so you release, put them back down, and push up. Try to maintain nice tight spine so you're not doing the worm as you're coming up from the push-up. The third movement is jumping squat. Feet in squat stance, coming down into the squat, jump back down, jump back down. Then your last movement is a dumbbell pull through in the plank position. So if my dumbbell starts to one side of me, I don't think you can see me there, sorry. Let me move back for you. If your dumbbell is on one side of you, so to the left, right, I'm going to take that right hand, go ahead and pull through to the other side, then switch, pull through the, to the other side. Try to maintain hips staying square. So if you need to make the base of your feet a little bit wider, go ahead and do so. The one thing I want to avoid is rocking back and forth when you're pulling the dumbbell side to side. If for some reason this is bothersome on your wrist, what we're going to go into is just the shoulder tap side to side as your scaling option. All right, guys, catch you on Tuesday, 10 a.m.